If you were writing a cookbook and put out a call for favorite recipes, you'd expect to get the recipe name, a list of ingredients, and the instructions. But what if someone gave you a cooked dish instead? And you still need to know how to make it. Technically, you might have a cake, but there's no way to use that in your cookbook. That's a bit like line items and text strings in different apps. And per usual, different apps need information in different formats. Some want the cake, others want the recipe. Before we get too far though, let's define a line item and a line item array. Think about a cake recipe. Every recipe starts with a list of ingredients. You'll have the wet ingredients like milk and eggs, and the dry ingredients like flour and sugar. Each set of ingredients, dry and wet, would be their own line item array. Inside that array are the ingredients, or line items. The milk and eggs are line items for the wet ingredients' line item array. Flour and sugar for the dry. Thankfully, Formatter has three functions that will help you work with line items to turn them into the format another app can use. The line itemizer creates a new line item array out of multiple strings of text or even multiple existing arrays. Line items to text takes a line item array and turns it into a comma separated list. Think of it like a bullet pointed list. Remove the bullets and now you have a paragraph. Text to line items takes a comma separated list and turns it into a line item array. It's like taking a paragraph of text and turning it into a list with bullet points. You might be thinking that the line itemizer and text to line item functions sound a bit alike, and they are. After all, they're both taking text and converting it into a line item array. Here's the difference. Text to line item is best used when you have one comma separated list that you want to make into a line item array. The line itemizer is for when you want to add multiple pieces of text and put them all together and make that your line item array. So let's look at line items in practice. Each person who shops at your store buys different products and different quantities of those products. And you want your accounting app to accurately reflect these purchases. However, when you try to set up your Zap, the quantities aren't lining up with the products correctly. Now that'll cause a lot of accounting problems if it's not fixed. And if you need to add a step in your Zap for each and every product purchased, your Zap is gonna get unwieldy fast. With the appropriate line item action, the line itemizer, line item to text or text to line item, Zapier will get those orders set up in a way that everything goes to your app in the right format all in one step. Let's say you track e-commerce orders in a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Each order has its own row and the columns are for things like order number, item price, products. These values are in a block of text, but your accounting app needs line items. Add a formatter step between these apps and find the line itemizer action under utilities. Name your group, which would be something like orders, your properties, quantity, product, price, and then, just like you would with the lookup table, create a table for each line item array you want to create. And as always with a formatter step, make sure you use the formatted information in your action app. We'll see you next lesson. If you learned something from this video, could you do us a favor and hit the like button? That helps us create more content like this to help you do more with Zapier. Consider subscribing too, so you're in the know when we post new videos.